lashes free. New Nature Lux Mousse Mascara. We took out the heavy synthetic and put in a light touch of beeswax. Up with the volume, down with the weight. New Nature Lux Mousse Mascara. Easy breezy beautiful cover girl. But let us begin this half hour with a tragic story out of Minnesota. Two girls, just 14 years old, took their own lives at a slumber party. In a moment, their families will speak out in an exclusive live interview. But first, NBC's Mike Taibbi has the story. Mike, good morning to you. Good morning, Meredith. You know, there weren't enough clues left behind to know precisely what pushed these two young girls, both students of the Marshall Middle School, to commit suicide. But that decision has left this rural community some three hours southwest of Minneapolis in shock. They were the best of friends, almost inseparable, Paige Morovitz and Haley Fentress, both 14 years old, both in eighth grade, and both so distraught they decided to end their own lives in what some believe was a suicide pact. Haley's heartbroken cousins remember a lovely, caring young girl. She was one of the, the people in my life that I knew that if you ever um, needed something, that Haley would do anything she could to help you. Paige and Haley had a sleepover last weekend. It was Haley's mom who found both girls dead early Saturday morning. They'd hanged themselves. The girls became close when Haley moved to Minnesota from Indiana just over a year ago. Paige was a talented hockey goalie and was teaching Haley to skate. The way she expressed her affection for Paige, that, that they were sort of one and the same. I think Haley found somebody that was kind of herself. But others at Marshall Middle School were apparently not as friendly. Haley messaged her aunt on Facebook saying, I'm so done with people here. They're so two-faced and mean to me. It's not even funny. Haley's family says she was ridiculed over her weight and even her red hair. Her mother and sister were too grief-stricken to talk on camera. Instead, they issued this statement about the bullying they say Haley endured. We need to stop pretending this isn't happening or that it's just a cry for attention because obviously it is not. It shouldn't take more tragedies to realize this. Last year, the case of Phoebe Prince drew national attention to the issue of bullying. School officials here would not talk about reports that these two girls were bullied. Whenever you lose a child, along with that child goes hopes, dreams, and aspirations. Both girls left suicide notes, but few answers. Haley's family says she was recently expelled after breaking up a fight that involved Paige. In another Facebook message to her aunt, Haley wrote, I don't know what to do. I'm so sad and feel lonely, and I hope I get to be with my friends again soon. In the digital age, cruelty and gossip can spread faster and further than ever, a fact not lost on the counselors helping other students deal with their grief. We talked today at school about just because it's something that someone texted or put on Facebook, it's not fact. Paige was laid to rest yesterday. Haley's funeral will take place here today, uh, later on today, with another separate family service in Indiana on Saturday. Meredith? And Mike Taibbi, thank you very much. We are joined exclusively by Patrick Martin and Hillary Settle, Haley Fentress's cousins, as well as Paige Moravitz's uncle, Brett Banke, and his son, Andy. Good morning to you all in our deepest sympathies. Good morning. Thank Good morning. you. Patrick, if I could start with you, as you and your family try to understand why Haley would take her own life, have you found any clues in the suicide note that she left behind? Um, I don't believe or know that we'll ever have a definite answer. Um, she really kept the note focused on wanting everybody to feel, um, you know, pray for her, her and Paige and uh, she, she really wasn't um, looking for any sympathy. Hillary, um, Haley wasn't just your cousin. You were very close to her. You were close buddies, actually. You knew that she was going through a tough time. She had talked to you about being bullied at school. She'd recently been, expel had been expelled. She was dealing with the aftermath of her parents' divorce, um, among other things. She said she wanted to go back to Indiana. Looking back now at all of this, is there anything she said to you? I know you spoke to her a week before she took her life that, that now raises itself as a red flag in your own mind that, oh, gee, I wish I had paid more attention to that. Um, there had been times that she had posted things, actually um, as late as the 6th, that um, after this all happened that we went back and looked at it and we realized, yeah, maybe 
we probably should have paid closer attention, that everyone should have probably paid closer attention. What was it that she posted as late as the 6th that you now wish you had paid closer attention to? Um, she put a, a status update that said, um, I'm so nervous and I just want to get it over with. And I love you, Paige. Brett, talk to me about your niece, Paige. From what I've read, she was a star athlete, a hockey player. In retrospect, were there any warning signs that you missed? Um, same for us. Uh, after I, I wasn't on her Facebook, but uh, we did get access to it. My daughter did, and and uh, you know there were things that she was sad about. But you know, I guess uh, you got to pay more attention to those sort of things. Yeah, ha had she been bullied at school as well? Um, you know, all kids that are 13 and 14 are in that age group are searching for acceptance, and um, their the friends are are important to them. And and uh, you know, we've all been there. And as a parent, it's it's hard for us to to see things that, that, are, that we can manage, but their emotions are not mature enough to handle yet. Yeah, Patrick, you and your family believe that the girls have been planning this for, for a long time. Why do you think that? Um, just looking back at the way that they acted um, over the last several weeks as far as changes in their behavior, kind of, I guess they, they went out of their way to make it so that nobody was going to be aware of this beforehand, I think. I really believe that. And um, those are the type of things, of course, that we miss but can, can see in retrospect. But it's just I, I, I have to believe myself that they, they had thought this out you know, pretty thoroughly because I, I just noticed little changes in the way they were, or I, sh I should say Haley was, was talking or posting things on the internet. It seems to me now that, that they were going out of their way to keep this to themselves. Yeah, Patrick, you also told one of our producers that you think the girls, your family never leaves, maybe the girls felt more strongly about themselves, uh, more than just a friendship, and they, and they were confused by those feelings and, and maybe felt a little ostracized. Is that correct? Um, we... We want to believe so. I mean, just by different uh, comments and suggestions that they made, it seems to look that way now. And, um, you know, of course, when the situation like this arises, you're going to think of every possible scenario. Uh, I don't want to say that we have anything that, you know, tells us that that's definitely the case, but, you know, there are things that suggest that. And before I let you go, I want to give you the opportunity to tell us just a little bit about how you want your nieces remembered. Fred, if I could start with you. I uh, remember Paige for uh, her uh, great personality and her star uh, hockey ability. And, and remember that big smile and how huggable and lovable she was. And Patrick, how do you yeah, want to remember? Yeah, very charismatic. Patrick, how would you like Haley right um, remembered well I just you know I would like it remembered the way I'm going to remember and and that is a, a very intelligent and outgoing and loving caring bubbly beautiful young woman we greatly appreciate you being here this morning again please accept our condolences Patrick Martin and Hillary Settle Fred and Andy Banky thank you all thank, thank you, thank you.